weather outside is awesome minus degrees and just snowed so it's a perfect time to get back to work repairing car repairing Ford Explorer here we have on the ground defected engine block from old Explorer which one cylinder doesn't lift up to the top so it's places it's it's places on the ground and here I have Mazana Bajo engine block it was sitting in the garage for lots of years and before garage I found it sitting outside for maybe five or six years I don't know person just took it and sold me for price of a metal so here we are I didn't think I could ever use it but this block looks like is in perfect condition all cylinders moves identically to the top of a block also if you look carefully you can see that cylinders inside is still having some grooves from the factory for oil and here we have camshaft uh, sensor with little window I have no idea why this window is used when I'm moving the camshaft it shows some information why it is it maybe someone knows please comment comment okay this engine is really in much better condition and also bottom of it looking much better there are no cooked oil on it no metal flakes nothing just fresh oiled part engine was sitting with oil inside so maybe that helped a lot also I made I oiled it a little bit with from time to time and moved so it wouldn't seize up so I guess that helped a lot next step is to look inside of this oil pump I could change it but that costs money I'll try to take it out and check if how it looks does it have any wearing parts metal flakes and I don't know we'll see The oil pump has been successfully disassembled, housing has some scratches, but most important thing for oil pump is that there is no gap between these two rotors and that oil cannot flow from one container to another. Since the rotors of this oil pump are in excellent condition, with no scratches or damage, the oil pump can be confidently assembled and used for another 100,000 kilometers. Of course, if Ford can withstand that much. Well, let's assemble the oil pump. Here gasket must be replaced and the part that connects to the engine block is factory installed without a gasket so we will assemble it the same way we found it without a gasket oil pump is assembled but as you noticed I cleaned it before assembly and now we want to put some oil inside it and the best way to put inside oil into oil pump is 
to feed some engine oil into it and spin spin it with crankshaft but I made a little mistake I installed this feeder tray at first so we'll try to fill it maybe some oil will reach it and then we'll spin it a little bit and oil will touch all the inside parts and it will be looped perfectly you can feel it that oil is reaching inside because spinning it it's getting way much easier When it became clear that this engine block is in good condition, it was time to clean the rust and dirt off it so that no debris would fall inside during assembly. That's it for this time. In the next video I'll take out the valves from the engine heads and try to do some amateur porting. Main plan is to match gaskets to the exhaust and intake ports. Wonder how everything will work out might even damage engine heads. We'll see. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel.